and distract each wrist with the hellish looks that a strong armed soldier whip clenched in his fist. Laced with chips of bone, they beat him hard from his shoulders to his feet. It sliced right through his olive skin, just like razors through his shield. Countless times the blood splattered as each human lash was begun. Several times his knees gave way as his flesh just hung like ribbons. Then surprisingly, he turned his head. soldier's face turned pale when he said, this blood is for you. Uncaringly, they tossed an arm across his weakened form, and his blood pressure fell deadly low as the crowds began to swarm. They forced him to carry his cross up the line. As his face they punched and smacked, while the splinters from the crisscross speed dug deep into his back. Through lack of sleep and dehydration, his tongue began to swell, and weakened by his loss of blood, this prophet and teacher fell. When he did, some blood splattered on a man named Simon Shu, and as he bent to wipe it off, the prophet looked and said, Simon, this blood is for you. This blood can save the soul, heal the sick, mend the heart. This blood can give you access to the very throne of God. And it still can go the distance through the pain to where you are. This blood Bursting arteries and veins. And as they drop the cross in the hole they dug, his body convulsed with pain. Through anger and torment that never a soul shall find, he tilts his face towards heaven with full control of his mind. With more love than any human heart, before that time or since, he made a statement that to this makes the strongest statements. He cried, Father God, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And as he gave his life for those lost in sin, he was saying, this blood is for you. And this blood can save the soul.